Check out this little cove around here. There we go. G'day guys, welcome back to a new episode. Now I'm gonna to try to keep this one interesting without going off in a tangent, but I kind of have to because if you're a regular watcher of this channel, you're gonna be wondering where I am and where I have been. So today I am about a 20 minute drive and maybe 20 minutes by boat from my new home, which is the Pilbara. I'm now living in Karatha and today I'm exploring the Dampier. Let me get this word right archipelago right so that's where i am today so it's just basically a big heap of islands off of dampier in the northwest of western australia and um yeah look this morning i came out and i came in you know fully psyched up to just get stuck into the fishing and everything but what's ended up happening is i've been so taken back by everything that's around here and there's so much to take in that it's sort of um you know you know when you get that feeling of like you've got too much on your mind and too much on your plate that you end up doing nothing that's kind of what i've done today i drove out here and i was like right i'll just go hit this spot or that spot and go check it out and then i've just been in awe all day and i've just ended up exploring the islands and i'm on this little one right now i'm not even sure what this one's called i haven't checked it yet but it's pretty damn cool so i can't actually guarantee that in this episode there's going to be any fish caught because the wind's blowing up a bit luckily it's going to be on my back heading back in but I'll just play the clips right now. I did get onto a couple of fish this morning and what's sort of been happening for me and what tends to happen for the northwest of Australia is something that I'm gonna to have to get used to now and become accustomed to and work out how I'm gonna get around it. But I got onto some fish this morning while I was getting fish, some Spanish flag, I was hooking some others, but then I was also getting smoked by sharks. So I'll stop talking now and play the clip. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Oh, that's gonna t Oh, no, that ain't good. That oh, wow. That had to have been a shark. <laughs> oh, that had to have been a shark. Man, that made me skip. I probably could have played that a little bit better. I was rigging that rod up with the soft plastic and I could see this one starting to get a few smacks and I was like, oh. I'll grab it in a second, quickly switch the camera on, off she went and then you saw what happened. So yeah, I'm gonna call that for a shark all day long. What I ended up doing this morning was I actually drove past all of the islands just about and shot out as far north as I could in the tinny, the 4.2 dory behind me, which is probably a pretty dumb idea. And I ended up about 16 mile out from where I launched the boat this morning, which is probably the furthest I've ever been yet again in that. And I shouldn't have done it because it's the first time I've ever explored these waters and I said I'd take it easy, but eager old me just goes, nah, bugger, I'll be right and I'll get out there. So I ended up in the 30s out off the back of the islands and uh, there was definitely a lot of fish showing a good show. Well, I thought it was a lot of good fish, but I think sort of what's ended up happening in the end is it's this actually been sharks, shark, 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 shark. and. Anywhere I was getting fish, I'd get the fish up, like these little uh, stripy sea perch for Spanish flags, they'd come up and then bang, straight away, there'd be one or two, two to three metre sharks straight behind it, chasing them up to the boat. And that actually became a bit of a nuisance and then I only did that for about an hour and a half. The wind blew up and then I've decided to come in and just start putting around the islands because in here you get shelter. So behind me, you would never guess it, 
but it just looks perfect, doesn't it? I've got a microphone on here with a bit of a wind condenser on there, so you're not going to get the full effect of the wind out here. It is pretty nice, so it's sort of blowing over this land here. And I did get some awesome drone shots around where I am right now, checking this place out. So what I'm actually going to do now, firstly, I want to apologize to you guys for not getting as much content out to you as I would like to and as some of you would like to see. I have just shifted towns. I've driven about 2,000 kilometers up the highway to get here. I've shifted my entire life, basically. My younger brother's taking care of my dogs for me at my house in Perth at the moment, but they're only a couple of weeks away from being up here with me. And then I'm just gonna be in full effect up here. So I've just been using the last three or four weeks to tune into my new job. That's been busy. I'm working 10 to 12 hours a day up here. That's pretty much the standard structure around here. I'm working in Dampier on the gas hubs there. For anyone who's curious, I don't really care if people know where I work. You can't get on site there to bloody come see me anyway. So I'm enjoying the new job. I'm enjoying the new house. I've got a good, this is actually my first time ever living with a housemate, Geordie. He let me move in with him to his house and he's an absolute legend. So I was a bit iffy about how I'd go living with someone for the first time ever in my life. And uh, yeah, it's just been streamlined within. So I'm pretty lucky there. So now that I've got all the finer things sorted out in life again, the idea is that I'm going to be punching out a bit of content now and getting straight back into it. That being said, I know that you guys like to see fishing, but also equally probably camping and the adventure. So I'm going to be doing things like coming to these islands with my swag, coming over here, fishing, diving, all the sorts, and then just making videos. Probably I'll probably punish this place. I'll go east, I'll go south. I'm going everywhere. It's going to be a good year on YouTube and just adventuring in general. And it's going to be a good year for me, I hope, as long as we don't uh, crack off into a new, well, I don't even want to say it, but a new world war, you know, if you've been watching the TV. Anyway, I'm sure there's probably about a thousand things that I've missed and that I want to say to you guys, but I don't really want to string it out, like I said. So what I might do now is I might actually tuck my diving gear on. I've just got a gidgy. I don't have anything fancy, but I might actually go for a swim around the bay here and just suss out what's around. And I will take the gidgy out and see if I can spear something small if anything's around. It is pretty fun. But what I've worked out so far from today is because I've been looking around so hard and you, there is such good visibility always sort of somewhere around one of these crannies in the islands here because they don't get so much affected by tide and wind depending on your position is like everyone else up here i'm definitely going to get into diving 100 percent i was sort of second guessing myself on it but probably actually one of the biggest factors that is influencing me to get into it is actually the weather because it's so hot up here fishing out of a boat almost isn't enjoyable. I've actually had probably one or two opportunities to get out over the last couple of weeks, but because it's been about 40 to 45 degree heat out in the weather, I just can't bring myself to do it because as soon as you step out of the air con at home, you're just sucking in the hot air. It's just not enjoyable, bucketing down sweat. Luckily today I got my first good break in the weather. It's still high 30s, but it's bearable and it's nice. So I'm gonna get into the diving. So that means I need more friends up here. If anyone dives up here and wants to hang out with me, let me know, follow me on Instagram, send us a message, all that sort of thing, you know how to do it. Yeah, I'm lost now, who cares? I'm gonna get back in the boat after I go for a swim, and then we're gonna go check out these islands. I'm just gonna stay in shallow for the rest of the day now, because I don't wanna keep getting chomped by sharks and staying out the back where it's a bit rough and iffy. I can't really stay out there and film because I'm using expensive camera gear now. Let's get out in the water. Okay, so there wasn't that much out there to look at. As soon as I jumped in, there was some silver brim, a few tarwan, a few little reef fish, but that was about it. It was a nice swim nonetheless. So before I move on, there's just one other thing I want to show you guys. It was my last week in Perth. So what I wanted to do, I had it in my head, is I wanted to leave Perth and I wanted to record every single day of my final week there to show everyone on the internet 
what a typical week of my life looked like in Perth, sort of compared to now. And then just have it in the memory bank so it was always something to look back on. But what I way underestimated is how much free time I would actually have. I really thought that I'd have like an hour or two each day to spare to get some footage in and just enjoy myself and make this little edit. And it wasn't the case at all. I actually only had about two afternoons out of that last week where I could actually get the camera out. And one of those days was visiting my nanny and granddad's, my grandparents. And I went to surprise them to tell them that I'm leaving. But what actually happened is it turns out they already knew because of watching my videos. I didn't know they actually watched them, but they had clued onto it. So anyway, for my sake, and theirs and just so I always have the memories there forever no matter what. I just want to show you guys the clips of me rolling up to their house, saying a few things with them, saying good day. And then I'm going to jump back in the boat and we're shooting over to these islands, the other islands I should say, we're on one right now. We'll shoot out of here, we'll go see if we can catch some fish. Up up, in the ute. In the ute, let's go see Nanny and Grandad, come on. Up, up. <laughs> hey, Nani, how are you going? Good. Hello, mister. Who's this hunk, hey? Who's this hunk with his shirt off? <laughs> Bit hot out there in the garden, is it? Say good day. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, God. Let's go, mate. Can you keep me in there like that? Yeah. Yeah, you are on it. Only just. All right, guys, so I came to surprise my nanny and granddad and tell them that I'm going to be taken off, but it turns out granddad's just told me he's actually more up to date with technology than I thought he was, and he's actually been watching my YouTube videos. So one of the first things he started talking about was the Pilbara camping trip. He knows what's going on, so no surprises to them. Um, yeah, going to miss you guys, obviously. Hope you'll miss me too a little oh, bit. Don't start me off. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll still get down and see these guys every few months and stuff, and I'll be a little trip. But... And, and I'm going to be following you around. Yeah, he'll be, he'll be my number one fan on YouTube. Give everyone a wave goodbye. Bye, see you. Always helps when your outboard's in the water. Let's try that again. Alright guys, so this is one of those rare occasions where I think I'm not too bothered if I do or don't catch a fish today. What I really wanted to achieve out of today was just to get the boat on the water up here for the first time. I wanted to check out the boat ramp and see how I'd go launching and retrieving on my own up here, especially because of the, the tide changes that happen. So the jetty that I launched on this morning at Dampier, I won't shy away from saying where I am or what I'm doing. So at Dampier, 
that's probably the easiest spot in town to launch from apparently and it's quite different for me because I've never lived or launched anywhere where you're affected too much by tides and so here I've got this great big steep jetty that you have to launch off and doing it solo is actually pretty difficult because you have to climb back up the ladder with your rope and obviously hook it back on but that's just to allow for the difference in the the water depth that it drops and rises as the tides change and I've never had to really deal with that so that was the first thing on my mind I got through that I did punch out pretty far this morning I punched out pretty wide out to about 35 meters of water and yeah I think I, that was about a 16 mile straight run out to there I got out there it was actually quite enjoyable it was pretty rough but yeah you saw the footage of like when I got smoked by the shark that's basically what it came down to I was getting smoked by sharks and everywhere I kept driving and looking on the sounder I could just see them following me on the sounder and they were sitting all through the water column there's just always five or six of them just taking up the whole whole depth of my sound and I just couldn't move like I'd literally pull up somewhere I wouldn't even get a fish on wouldn't do nothing they'd just know my boats there and they'd come hover underneath the boat straight behind me so that was a bit of a pain and that's sort of what inclined me to move back in close I was seeing tuna and stuff breaching out of the water out there when I was out there I kept like I'd be rigging up a rig on my rod and then I'd see like a little splash in the corner of my eye and you, you know when you think am I seeing that or is it out there sort of what was going on I was like I'm going to catch one of you guys when I see you and then yeah probably only about five meters from the boat there was maybe a seven or eight kilo tuna I'm not sure what type of tuna it was I didn't get a clear look at it but it breached out of the water and dove back in under the water so I was like oh yeah that's pretty cool so I just put an unweighted muley out the back but they didn't want to take that for as long as the sharks were around what I'm probably going to do I really wanted to do today solo because I prefer my first time experiences and stuff in places like this that I've never seen before to just be on my own I find it's the only real way I can truly soak it in and enjoy it for what it is so I came out on my own today even though there's a heap of people that are willing to help me out with spots coming out on the boat taking me out on their boat all that sort of thing so I think that's going to be all to come soon I've got some spots I know that I'm going to hit for some fish next time and I'll just dedicate the whole day to it but really I got so sidetracked today just having such a great time checking out these islands going for a swim a bit of a dive yeah I've got absolutely nothing to whinge about I've had one of the best days I've had in a very long time so it's been about a month since I've been on the water to do stuff like this when normally I do it sort of once a week at least I would normally aim for in my day-to-day -day life so that's going to be back on the cards now I'll wrap that one up here for you guys I'm sorry that I didn't catch any fish if that's what you're hoping for I haven't had fish for quite a while now but yeah I'll see you guys in the next episode we're going to crank into the camping into the fishing once the weather cools down a little bit I've got this big bloody thing up here look at this this is one of the craziest things about this place so you can see we've got blue skies over there blue skies over there and then we just cop these big thunderstorm clouds that just roll in every day out of nowhere this one is straight over top of Karatha right now and it's throwing out big lightning strikes in the middle of the day and I don't like it so I'm going to get back in before that rolls up to me and I will see you guys all in the next episode thanks for watching let us know what you think give us some pointers help us out and uh, we'll make these episodes good.